Hey folks! Welcome to Fireflies Follies. I hope that you enjoy the video today. If you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while. So, let me start today by saying that this is not an instructional video. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I am going to be recanning store-bought orange juice. Now, if you've been on my channel very much, then you know that I have girls, and my girls are Wombaroos, which are miniature sugar gliders, and I make a formula for them about four times a year. Their formula requires orange juice, two cups of orange juice, every time that I make it. So typically, I just buy a pint of orange juice, which is a dollar and fifty cents. I did a little bit of research and I talked to a few people and I made a couple of phone calls and I found that I can recan the store-bought orange juice because it is high acid in a water bath. Now, if it were fresh orange juice, I would need to bring it up to 190 degrees by thermometer and hold it at 190 degrees for five or six minutes and that's for pasteurizing. This is already pasteurized, so I can skip that step. So, the way that I do this is I, I set my orange juice out a, a few minutes ago so that it's a, a little cooler than room temperature, but it's not straight from the refrigerator cold. So all I'm going to do is fill my jars. And the great thing is, if I can this in pints, it takes one pint to make their formula, and this half gallon is the same price that I would pay for a pint. They get a formula to hide all of their vitamins and, and the macronutrients that they need. There are certain minerals and things that get mixed in, so... with a tiny bit left over that I will give them over the course of the next few days in their fruit. So, what I'm going to do now, I have my canner standing by. I have filled it with water, but it is not on. I have my rings. I boiled a little bit of water and dropped my lids in so that they could be warming up because I'm water bath canning. So I'm going to grab a paper towel and the vinegar, and it's just plain white vinegar. And I'm just going to dampen the paper towel with it. Wipe the rims to make sure I didn't splash. Then we are going to put the lids on each one. Put a ring on fingertip tight. Okay, so now that I have them all ready, I'm going to put them into a cold water bath canner and I am going to bring it up to a boil. Once it is up to a full rolling boil, I will let them run for 15 minutes and then I'll shut it off. I'll make sure that the water covers them by at least an inch and a half. Once they're done processing, I will let them rest for five minutes and then I will take them out and this will be shelf stable with no refrigeration needed for a couple of years at least and like I said this is enough for one year. Now the pulp may separate when it comes out of the canner but that's perfectly normal. Um, once they cool down you can give it a quick shake or when you get ready to open it you can give a quick shake and it will redistribute everything back together. Now again if you are canning fresh citrus juice you need to pasteurize it. You need to bring it up to 190 degrees by thermometer and hold it there for five minutes to pasteurize it. So I'm going to get these loaded into the canner and I'm going to bring it up to temperature and let them process for 15 minutes. Let them cool for five and I will bring you back and show you how it turns out. All right. I am back. 
This came up to a full rolling boil, processed for 15 minutes. I turned the heat off and it's been sitting for about five minutes. So now let's get them out and let's see how we did. There's one sealing. All right, so that one's sealed. Both of those are just about to seal. Let me see if I can get this up here where it can focus for you. So you can see that the pulp separated and it just sealed. You can see that the pulp separated. Now, when you get ready to use it, all you have to do is give it a shake and it will go right back together. And if you get the pulp-free juice, then there's nothing to separate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these sit. I'm going to move the. I put them on a pan so that I can move them. I'm going to put them in the dining room so they can cool for about 24 hours. And then tomorrow, I will take off the rings, wash the jars, label them, and put them in the pantry. They're good in the pantry for a year or two. Um, it isn't going to last me a year or two. This is enough for four batches of formula last one out of there. This is enough for four batches of formula so it's good for this will last us about a year. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video today. If you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Feel free to leave a comment that helps get me out there on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed yet I hope that you will and that you'll stick around for a while for more canning, dehydrating, southern cooking, I love the sound of a snapping lid. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a great day.